Welcome to Cardio Pharma Tip Series. After we discuss the medication to be prescribed twice and medications to be prescribed three times per day, let's discuss one of the medications that has a strange instruction regarding nitrates. We should have an eight hour interval. Why is this strange instruction? We have three types of organic nitrates. We have isosorbide mononitrate, isosorbide dinitrate, and glycerol trinitrate. The mononitrate is used as a maintenance therapy for chronic coronary syndrome to prevent anginal episodes, while dinitrate is used as a PRN for acute relief of anginal episodes, usually to be used as sublingual. Sometimes it is used as a spray, and glycerol trinitrate is used as an IV infusion in case of acute coronary syndrome or hypertensive crisis. How do the nitrates produce its pharmacological effects? It is converted inside the vascular smooth muscle cells into nitric oxide. So when this nitric oxide is released, it results in stimulation of guanine cyclase, so increasing the level of cyclic GMP, resulting in vasodilatation of the epicardial coronaries, which help to redistribute the coronary blood flow to the ischemic area. That's why it relieves anginal episodes, and so it can use also as a maintenance therapy to prevent or reduce the recurrence of anginal episodes. Another action that it can cause venodilatation and so reducing the venous return to the right side of the heart and so reducing the blood flow to the lung resulting in decreased pulmonary venous congestion in heart failure patients. So the main use of nitrates is in coronary artery disease and also in case of coronary vasospasm and it has a vasodilator effect and it can be used in patients with heart failure to relieve paroxysm and nocturnal dyspnea and in that case it is taken at night before sleep in order to reduce the incidence of PNZ. And another famous use is in esophageal spasm as here it has the same mechanism where it would relieve the spasm caused by the esophageal smooth muscle cells. After this brief, we are going to focus on isosorbide mononitrate in this video. We have a short acting form to be taken twice per day and a long acting form which has a sustained release to be taken once per day. This long acting form has no specific instruction apart from the dilemma of sildenafil, which we are going to discuss in a separate video. But regarding the short acting form, we are going to ask ourselves a question. Why should we advise a patient to have an eight hour interval between the two doses of the mononitrate. The onset of the mononitrate is after 30 to 60 minutes from the ingestion of the dose, and the duration of action lasts for about six to eight hours. We usually advise the patient to keep an eight hour interval between the first and second dose in order to have an eight hour free interval from nitrates. But why do we do this? The key step in the mechanism of organic nitrates is the conversion to nitric Oxide, which may become depleted with the recurrent use of nitrates or the continuous use of nitrates like an infusion for example, resulting in a famous phenomenon and challenge called nitrate tolerance and so the patient loses the pharmacological effect and the therapeutic effect that he needs from nitrates. If the patient took the two dosage of nitrate, one in the morning and one in the evening, as most of the medication prescribed in our clinical practice, he would have a 12 hour interval between the two doses. And in this case, he would develop nitric oxide depletion after a few days, which may result that he loses its pharmacological effect. And so the patient doesn't get benefit from using nitrates to prevent anginal episodes. Whereas if we told the patient to have an 8 hour interval between the two doses, so for example he takes the first dose in the morning and the second in the afternoon, the second dose would last in his body for about 8 hour duration and then he would have an 8 hour free interval from nitrates, so nitric oxide builds up in his body and so there is no nitrate tolerance in this case because the nitric oxide is not consumed as in the first example. The same rule applies to the transdermal patches, as here from the patch application there is a 20 to 12 hour duration of action of nitrates, followed by nearly 12 hour free interval, and so the nitric oxide build up in his body, so there is no tolerance to nitrates. That's why we advise the patient to remove the patch after about 10 to 12 hours from putting it on the skin.
and this explains why the continuous infusion of glycerol trinitrate for more than 24 hours is not recommended as here the nitric oxide depletion would result in nitrate tolerance resulting in gradual loss of the therapeutic effect that's why after 24 hours we start to wean the IV trizyl infusion so after we understood the answer for this question why we keep an 8 hour interval between the two doses of oral nitrates we need to prescribe the medication in this way that for long acting nitrate it can be taken once per day but for the short acting form we need to have one tablet in the morning and one in the afternoon for example at 8 a.m and 4 p.m or one tablet in the afternoon and one tablet at night for example 2 p.m and 10 p.m and regarding transdermal patch we need to advise the patient to put it on the skin for maximum 12 hours and then to be removed in order to avoid tolerance to the effects of the transdermal patch thank you very much for watching this video and wait next week for the next video in cardiopharma tips as we are going to discuss the dilemma of nitrates with sildenafil